Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio, and today I'm doing a video for the Facebook group, My Creative Year. Um, today's word is poppy, and the colors for January are warm. So I thought I would just come on and do a quick little collage journal page using the prompt and the colors. And I'm just going to collage a bunch of scraps on here as my base. Um, it's a fun way for me to work. I, I like doing it. It breaks that blank page and gives me just a fun, interesting surface to work on. So I've just grabbed some random scraps that I have left over from a project, a Christmas present project I did in, you know, before Christmas in December. And just thought I would use up all the little bits that were left over and luckily, for the most part, they are the brown and off-white warmer colors. I do have a few um, that aren't quite, but they're close enough. They'll work, right? Okay, now my collaging is dry. I'm just going to take some white paint and I think that's white. Now that I look at it, it might be a little off-white. I think it's parchment is what it's called. And I'm just going over everything just to knock it back just a little bit so it kind of blends a little bit better together. And then I think I let that dry and then we're going to do a little stenciling. So I'm going to take some yellow and that is white gesso there and then I do that and it's kind of bright so I add a little bit of that I think that is buff it's either buff or taupe just a neutral sort of off-white color just to tone it down a little bit and just add a little bit more interest in the background before we draw the poppy all right, so that is dry, and here is the poppy. I'm doing a couple of circles, and then I find my centerpiece there, and then just using those as a guide, I create the petals. And that just helps you get, kind of get that dimension. Um, I could have done a little bit better. I didn't practice it first, I just went for it. That's kind of how I do things, you know, just go for it. <laughs> and I'm not sure that those are poppy leaves, but they're, they're what came out of my head. <laughs> All right, so once it's drawn on there, I am just going to outline it with a pen so that you can see it a little bit better. And this pen is actually a little bit water reactive. It has to dry for a really long time for it not to be. So that will affect the paint when I put the paint on. And if you're careful, it make it works great to create shading on your piece. Ok, 
Okay, so I'm taking out some more white gesso and just going to add a little bit in the centers of each of these petals and a little bit on the leaves. That will make it easier for the red that we put down. Um, otherwise it might turn a little bit more orange. I think it does look a little bit orange when we do it, but this will just help it stand out a little bit more. Alright, so we've got it nice and white, and now we're going to add the red. And you'll see as I paint this, you'll see little dark streaks come up, and that is from the ink. And I have to make sure I wipe it off in between, or it will get too heavy with the dark color. So you just kind of get this natural sort of shading, which I think is a lot of fun. Okay, so I did take a little bit of orange to it. Um, I was trying to give it a little bit of a highlight, so I took a light color of orange. Just to highlight the petals of the flower. And I did the same thing with some yellow on the leaves. And then I dab a little bit of yellow inside the center of the flower. Now here I'm just running a wet brush along that edge just to activate some of that ink and create a little bit of shading behind. Some areas of ink have more than others. 
just to give it a little bit of shading behind without going too crazy with it. So then I go around the edge with a gray um, Pitt Artist Big Brush Pen, this one's the bigger one, and just give it a little bit of shading around the edges. And because I collaged all that down, um, it blends pretty well with my fingers. And I apparently I got a little paint on there, but yeah, you can wash that off with a baby wipe too. <laughs> as long as you haven't waited too long. There we go. And I decided it needed a word, so I found one and it fits perfectly, right? So I hope you liked that. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you'd like to see more from me, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.